What's up guys, it's Sydney and this is your 30 minute cardio and abs shred. So grab your light dumbbells and let's get started. What's up guys, I'm so excited that you're here today for our 30 minute abs and cardio shred. We're gonna be working in intervals today, so make sure you have space around you. I have light dumbbells that are optional for you today, so you don't have to have them. I'm just gonna add them into my core work where we'll hit the abs, the obliques. So if you wanna add that in, you can. Not necessary though, okay? And then of course we're gonna be doing body weight cardio. Make sure you have water and a sweat towel and we're gonna to rock through this workout together. I'm so glad you're here. While you're here, make sure you're thinking about your goal for today, okay? What is it to make it all the way through the workout without stopping? Is it to completely feel crushed at the end of this workout? Whatever it is, keep that goal in mind throughout this whole workout. We're gonna work hard together, okay? Give me a thumbs up if you are ready and we're gonna jump right into the warm up. Here we go, arms out to the side, butt kicks in three, two, one, here we go. Good job. Now take that internal rotation of the heel, tap it with your opposite hand, get the hips opened up here a little bit. Good job. Good job. Four, three, two, one, and let's take it back to the back of your mat. Hinge your hips back and forth. So on the way forward, I want you to stretch out those hip flexors. Let's go two more, one, and two. Regular speed butt kicks. Okay, if you're modifying any of the moves today as far as the cardio, you can always just take the hop out, still give me that same motion, okay? Three, two, one. Place your hands down on the ground and let's inchworm it out. All right, we're gonna go up and down with the hips. Okay, so again, Hip flexors, abs. You're gonna use both of them in abs and cardio. Good, one more, and when you get to the top, walk it back into your feet. All right, step forward with your left foot. I want you to lean and touch the floor, come back up. So you try to keep that back heel on the floor. Okay, two, one, come back together. Same thing on the other leg. Lean forward and drive your back heel down. Two more. One, and two. All right, cross your arms over your chest. We're gonna get started with our first move. It is a push-up plank jack burpee, okay? So, we're gonna take it down to the floor. Jump back into a burpee, elbows down, Hands up, jump back, come up, okay? Ready, let's go. Jump it back, drop to the elbows, come back up. 45 seconds right here. And you can modify by stepping back and then stepping right back up, okay? Great work, keep it up. 15 seconds. You're right there, you've got seven, six, three, two, one, rest. Good job. We've got one more round of that and we're done with it, okay? We'll get the burpees out of the way in the beginning. All right, last round here, big deep breath. Three, two, same thing, one, let's go. Jump it back, drop to the elbows, back up, and burpee. And you'll notice I'm warming up your abs here too. When you go down in this push-up, you gotta have your core tight, okay? Good job, 15 more seconds. Good, you're right there. 
Keep working, keep working. Seven, six, five seconds. Three, two, one, and have a seat for me. You're gonna go jack knives, crab press up, or glute bridge. Taking your right hand and left foot. You're gonna come up into a bridge position. Touch, sit, touch, sit. Ready, let's go. Bridge up, touch, come back down. Now you're rotating here just a little bit, so I need the core to be in control, okay? Bridge, reach, and sit back down. To step it up, you can stay up here the whole time. Okay, that's an option as well. 10 more seconds. Good, five, four, three, two, one, rest. Whew. And we're gonna switch it over to the other leg. We've got two rounds of each leg, okay? So, pop your foot right back under. This time, left foot is here, right leg is going up. Okay, opposite hand, two, one, let's go. Squeeze your core at the top. When your hand and your toe get contact, or modification hand and knee, squeeze your core in. Another modification is to keep your butt down, here and down, okay? Good job, 15 seconds. Good work, seven, six, five, three, two, one, rest. And we're switching back to the other side now. This time I want you to stay here on your elbow. Open, tap, open. Okay, no bridge, but more reps here. Three, two, one, Let's go, same thing. So we're increasing the speed here. Keep your arms straight, keep your legs straight. Go a little quicker. Pull that lower belly in. Brace the core. Good job, come on. Move that leg, I know your leg's probably getting tired. Squeeze, brace your abs. Exhale as you reach. Nine, eight, seven, five, four, three, two, one, rest. Same thing on the other leg, okay? I'll flip around here. Same thing, you're gonna drop to the elbow. Hand stays right up over your shoulder. Rotate that toe a little bit outward, okay? So you can get a little bit of inner thigh, but also mainly abs. Ready, let's go. And when I lower my leg, I wanna make sure I don't let my hips sag forward, okay? Keep them pulled back like you're trying to sit on the top of your glute. Good job, come on, 20 seconds. More reps, remember? We're not bridging, we're getting more reps. Here we go. Keep that core tight. Nine, eight, seven, six. Legs straight, three, two, one, rest. Great job, come on up. We're gonna go high knee sprinter to the right. Okay, so take it to the right. Your right knee is gonna come up. Meet the left hand, you're gonna go pow, 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 okay? And then we'll switch back the other direction. Let's start this way, here we go. Up, up, up. So opposite hand meets opposite toe and you're crunching at the top. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Good. 20 seconds. Squeeze, that's it. Crunch down every time you bring that leg up. 10, nine, eight.
practice that squeeze for three two one now if you have those light dumbbells grab them we're gonna do the same thing just a little slower and you're gonna crunch down okay so you're gonna go crunch step crunch step crunch step and then switch going back the other way ready let's go if you have no dumbbell same thing squeeze over standing abs and I would rather you bring your knee up high to meet your elbow Twenty seconds, and we're gonna speed it back up. Pull that belly button back to your spine. Four, three, two, one, rest. Good job. Fifteen seconds rest. We're going back to the cardio. The high knees. All right, you guys ready? Let's start going off to the right first. Pick that right knee up in two, one. Let's go. So quick, light feet. Got 45 seconds here, so it's a good time to go quick. You can get your rhythm down and then speed your feet up. Good, come on. All right, a little quicker, 15 seconds, and you're done with this move. And then we're going back to the dumbbell crunches. That's it, eight, seven, six, three, two, one, rest. Grab your dumbbells. If you don't have dumbbells, keeping those arms here. Squeeze, squeeze, okay? Still crunching in. Here we go, five seconds. Dumbbells up, elbows stay high. Two, one, let's go. Crunch down. Don't rush the reps either. The only thing I want you doing is thinking about how hard can you squeeze. Good job, 15 seconds. Good, eight, seven, four, three, two, one, rest. And come on down to the ground. You're gonna take one dumbbell with you. Laying flat on your back, we're going into bicycles. Okay, you don't need the dumbbell yet. 45 seconds, you're right here. Three, two, one, let's go. And I want you to get a little pause on each side. So, it's only 30 minutes, so I need your muscles to be working as much as possible. That doesn't have to mean fast either. It means intense, big squeeze, okay? Crunch your shoulder blades up a little higher. Twist, twist. Come on, 10, nine, eight, six, five, four, three, two, one, rest. Now, grab that dumbbell if you have one, okay? We're, gonna, we're going to put it right over your chest, crunching up a little, speed bicycles, okay? Three, two, one, crunch it up first, let's go. And through the fast movement of your legs, your core has got to be tight. So I don't want you wiggling. Keep it tight. Keep breathing. If you're not using a dumbbell, same thing. Crunch those shoulder blades up. 15, 14. That's it, go, 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 10, seven, six, five, 
three, two, one, rest. Oh, dumbbell down, we're slowing it back down. Back to the bicycles, you gotta squeeze on each side. Whoo, oh, those abs are burning, right? <laughs> All right, hands behind your head, crunch up. Let's go in two, one, here we go. And I want your hands here. I want you to support your neck. Okay, if you get tired, make sure you take a big deep breath. Come back in. You can also choose to take one heel down. Twist, twist, okay? Modifications if you need them. But what I want is a squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze, twist, breathe. Nine, eight, seven, Five, four, three, two, one, ouch. Oh, I know the abs are on fire. Grab your dumbbell if you're using it. If not, throw your hands right up over your shoulders. Okay, I still want those shoulder blades off the floor. Are you ready? Three, two, one, crunch up. Go fast, fast, fast. The whole objective here is to make sure your core stays tight, even though your legs are moving fast and trying to throw your body off balance. <sighs> Flatten your back out. <sighs> Whew, 20 seconds. Crunch it up, 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 let's go. <sighs> Come on, 10, nine, eight, seven, Higher, six, five, two, one. Oh, rest. All right, dumbbells out of the way as you try to catch your breath again. We're going back into cardio. So I've got slide and three hops, okay? So I've got slide, one, two, three, slide, one, two, three. Ready? Let's go, slide, one, two, three, slide, one, two, three. Just stay moving, keep those feet quick. Fifteen. Light on your toes, let's go. Five, four, two, one, rest. Fifteen seconds rest. Pull my mat back here. One more round there. I'm gonna keep you on your toes for this one. Five seconds, big deep breath. Two, one, let's start here. Three, two, one, go. Good job, 30 seconds. Come on, and over, hop, 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 let's go. 15. Come on, 10, nine, eight, seven, four, three, two, one, rest. Come on down to the floor, grab those light dumbbells again. We're gonna go crisscross toe touches. Whew. All right, so dumbbell one in each hand. Start with your toes, heel toe. I'm gonna crunch up, switch, up, switch. Ready, let's go. So you're going heel toe and reach. Great job. Exhale as you go up. Shoulder blades up at least. Come on. 10, nine, eight, seven, four, three, two, one, and a rest. Woo! 
All right, same thing, one more time. Whew, great job. Let's go back. Heel toe. Remember, your goal is to get those shoulder blades up. So legs are past your hips. Ready? Let's go. Good job, come on. 30 seconds. Let's go, up, you got it. Push through that burn. You've got to do it today. Come on, come on, a little quicker. A little higher. Good, 10 more seconds, let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, four, Come on, three, two, one, rest. Stay right here, give me one dumbbell in your right hand. Okay, right hand, big deep breath. Take that right leg, straighten it out. You're gonna open, close. Ready? Let's go, right hand, right leg. You wanna make this a little tougher. Float your second leg. Okay, keep that back flat though. I'm gonna keep mine down so my back will stay flat. Good, 20 seconds. We're gonna superset this right leg with some cardio. So be ready to come up in just a second. 10, nine, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Dumbbell down, come on up. We're gonna go high knees with your hands out to the side, okay? Whew. Big deep breath, hands to the side, high knees, okay? Make sure I don't slip on my dumbbells. Here we go, two, one, let's go. And up, two, three, four, down, two, three, four. Every three steps, switch your arms. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Modification, march and down. Two marches, lift, two marches, down. Fifteen seconds, and we're going back down for a left leg, leg raise. Come on, keep moving quick. Six, five, four, Three, two, one, rest, come on down. One dumbbell, lay it flat on your back, left leg and left arm, so same side. You can flatten that right leg onto the mat. Okay, here we go, start up top together. Two, one, open, crunch. Good job, come on. If you need to support your neck, throw that right hand there, but squeeze that dumbbell high. <sighs> 20 seconds, and we're back to the cardio. Yes, come on, come on, come on, 10. Five. Three, two, one, rest. Back to the cardio. Four high knees with your hands to the side, four with your hands overhead. You're doing great, we're almost there. Whew. Two more exercises after this. That's how close we are. Hands to the side, ready, let's go. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Good, good, good. Up, 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 quicker feet, come on. Whew. Don't slow down yet. 20, 19. <sighs> 13, 12, 10 seconds, come on. <sighs> up, 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 five, four, three, two, one. <sighs> Rest, 
We're back to cardio again. What I want you to do is a sprint switch. So you're gonna take your arms and your legs, just like you're sprinting, tapping one foot out front, one foot out back. Arms and legs. Ready, let's go. Keep yourself just a little bit crunched in. So you're thinking like scissor chops with your feet. Okay, moving laterally. But your feet go up, back, up, back, and work those arms. Let's go. Come on. Push, push, push. 20 seconds. And we're going down for abs. Work the arms. When your legs get tired, work your arms faster. Your legs will go with your arms. Come on. Six, five, three, two, one. Grab one dumbbell. Okay. One dumbbell. We're gonna start with both hands and both feet over top. When you go down, I want you to flutter. Right here. Okay? Two, one, let's go. Lower the legs, flutter. If you can, open your arms. If you can't, stay right here. Okay? Breathe, pull that back down to the floor. I like to look towards my quads, so I'm looking up a little bit instead of being all the way flat. I'm crunched here at my neck. You've got 10 more seconds and we're up for cardio again. Five, pull down, pull down, pull down. Three, two, one, rest. All right, come on up. Back to the cardio. Woo. Same thing, if you can step it up, let's do it, okay? Last minute, or last 45 of cardio. One toe out front, opposite hand is out front too. Ready, hop and switch, hop and switch. As quick as you can go, come on. Last cardio minute. Keeping your core tight. Helps that speed as well. Come on. 20, 19, 18, 17. Let's go. Go, go. 10. Last eight seconds. Seven, six, five, three, two, one. Grab both of your dumbbells now. We're not gonna lay all the way down but we are gonna flutter again. All right, dumbbells here, hands are open facing. I want your legs straight, flutter here. Okay, two, one, let's go. If you can, extend your arms forward. If not, just keep them right here. Depends on the dumbbells that you grabbed. Focus, pull that belly button back down to the floor. You should be up on the top part of your glutes. If you need to modify, bend your knees. Tap heel, heel, heel. Let's go. 15, 14, 13. Come on, you're right there for five, four, three, two, one. Drop those dumbbells down and flip it over to your stomach. Let's stretch those abs out. Ooh. Rock right into your cool down stretch, guys. We made it. I <sighs> hope you really, really pushed yourself today. I know some of the ab exercises were not what you would typically think of as core or ab exercises, like the toe touch in a crab position, things like that. Use your deep core muscles, okay? Tuck your toes down and lift your hips up for me. Drop your heels down to the floor. Cool it down, slow your breathing down. So just know, anytime you're training your abs, I'm a fan more so of the word core, okay? Because anytime you're training your abs, people think of just those six pack muscles on the front of their abs, or on the front of your stomach. Walk back to your toes for me. 
and really your core is the entire midsection of your body. Okay, so we did some things today that were core focused, a little challenging, maybe not typical, not crunches, but your core was utilized in every movement today. Go ahead and roll your hips up for me. Place your hands on the back of your tailbone. Widen your feet just a little and push forward. Keep breathing, let that sweat fall off of you. I know you earned it today. Come back up to the top. Step forward with your left foot. Release your hands, reach overhead and shift your weight forwards. Good job. Good. Step up to that front foot and let's switch legs. Step backwards, lift your hands up and shift your hips forward. So you feel that stretch right in your hip flexor. And as the clock rolls down to zero, step back up together here and make sure you keep moving today. I hope today was your highest intensity, right? It wasn't just something you came and you showed up for. It was something where you really went hard, okay? Every single workout, whether it's 30 minutes, 40, 50, whatever it is, I want you to go all out from the very beginning, okay? Don't save yourself, don't think, oh, it's 30 minutes, it's gonna be hard, or oh, it's 50 minutes, I gotta pace myself. Go all out early on, and in that way, you'll be able to see progress. You'll be able to see yourself go longer without needing a break, or you'll be able to see yourself go longer with those heavy dumbbells, okay? So don't pace yourself in fitness and in life. Show up each day, give your all, okay? Give it your all, it's one day at a time, okay? You're not looking at the next five months happening in one day. You just have to do one day at a time, okay? And as for your workout, you just have to focus on one minute at a time, okay? So make sure each day, each minute in your workout, you give it your all, don't pace yourself and go all in to make sure at the end of the day or at the end of the workout, you are completely satisfied with your effort and you know you gave it your all. I'm so proud of you today. Let that sink in. If you need to listen to it again, I want you to do it. It's so important to not pace yourself, okay? Show up, show out, and make sure you comment in the comments below, I gave it my all if you gave it your all today, okay? Before you head out, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel. And of course, turn on your bell notification and I'll shoot you an alert when your workout is up and ready for tomorrow. Share this workout with a friend and I'll see you then. Love you guys.